the flying machine. Nonian was at the airport with his mom and dad. They had been to America for a holiday. Now it was it was time to fly home. Ah, Nonian dad was nervous. I don't like flying, he said. I hate taking off. I don't hate it, said Nonian. I love it. On the flight, flight, there was some surprise for Nodin. A steward asked him if he wanted to see the conquerors. Nodin was excited. He had always wanted to see the flight deck of the airplane. Oh, brilliant, he said. Yes, please. The steward took Nodin and his dad to the airplane. These planes are huge, said Nodim. They hold about 400 people, said the steward. That's a lot of people in one plane, said Nodim. Nodim and his dad went on to the flight deck. They met the campaign. We're flying on onto our pilot, said the captain. The plane is flying by itself. Nodin like at look at all the cultures. I'd like to be a pilot, he said. It takes a long time to run, said the captain, but what's to stop you? Don't tread him over over the control just yet. Jogum told him that a nervous passenger. Oh, Dad, said Nodin. After Nodin got home, he went to play at Big Friendship House. And in the house already there. Nodin told Abraham about his holiday. I went on to the flight the back of the airplane, he said. I love to be a pilot, she said Anina. Mom called Beef and Chip. They had to go downstairs to help wash up. We won't be wrong, said Chip. Anina picked up the magic key. Suddenly, it began to glow. It took Anina and no demons on an adventure. Out adventure. The magic took Beef No demon and Anina back in time. It took them to a place in America. Why was the magic keeper go to stay here? Asked Anina. They heard the sound of the engine. The sound was coming out of the big cloud of dust. A man was driving toward them into a strange looking car. What on earth is it? Asked Nodim. It looked like a really old car. You can't stand here. Called the man, you'll be in the way of flying machine. The strange look airplane was standing by a barn. No dream and Anina had never seen anything like that. Another man was working on the airplane. The fourth man got out of the car and went over to him. And in the gap, the two men look alike. They must be twins, she said to Nodim. Hello, said the second man. I'm oh, Harry, and this is my twin brother, Harold. Who are you? I'm Nodim. This is Anina, said Nodim. You're not spying on us, are you? Hello, Harold. Why would we do that? asked Anina. We just about to try out the flying machine, said Terry. But it's a secret. No, no one has ever ever made a flying machine before, said Harold. We will be the first people to do it.
It's amazing, said Nottam. We've not seen an elephant elephant like this before. The twins laughed. A hairy play, said Nottam. That's a good name for it. A hairy play. But it will never fly, said Anina. Of course it will, said Harry. Harry sat in the flying machine. I love it, shouted Harry started the engine. The propeller began to turn. It swam faster and faster, but the flying machine didn't move. I told you so, said Anina. It's the propeller, said Anina. It will never work. It's too flat. She picked up two pieces of wood. It's need to be like this, she said. It acts like the screw to pull the plane through the air. Well, we could try it, said not Harry. The twin changed the shape of the flapala, but it still won't fly, said not him. You only have a flat wing. You have no way to make it live up. What will it take off? Ha! said Harold. We made a ramp. The faster we go, the higher it will fly. Harry took God into the airplane. Harry started the engine with a right here. The propeller spun round and the airplane began to move faster and faster. They are working, shouted Harry. It still won't fly, said Nodin. The plane jumped up the ramp and full speed. It rolled in the air like a happy bird. Yeah, it's flying. It's flying. The plane flew straight up. It went back, backward in a loop. Then it dived, dived toward the ground. Help! Here, hello. The plane hit the ground with a heavy bump. Harry or Harold was thrown out. It was still going at the full speed. A lord tower no demon anymore. Stop it! Yelled Harold. Look out! Shout Harry. No, no one could stop the plane. It had towered a big water tank. It going to crash, gasped Nodin. The plane went under the water tank. The wind snapped off, but the plane went on. It hadn't stopped, said Harry. The plane didn't slow down. It roared on tower the farm. Harry told Harry told Harry jump into there and come and chase after it. One thing for sure, said Nodim to Anina, your propeller works well. Harry and Harry, Henry, and her old mother and father live on the farm. Their mother had just done the washing. She was hanging it out to dry. Father was washing early in fried melon and pumpkin. Harry and Horrors followed. Nodim and Anina chased after them. Oh heck, said Harold. Why won't they stop? Oh my, said Harry. It's hiding from the farm. Oh dear, said Anina. I don't like the look of this. The plane lolled on. It went through the washing. It crashed on melons and pumpkins. It hasn't stopped, shouted Harold. Now what are we going to do? I hope it runs out of gas soon, said Harold Holly. The plan had towered the town. 
a woman was painting her house. She heard the sound of an engine. When I braced up, she wondered. It sounded like a rolling door. A plant ran into the lair and knocked it down. The woman fell on the ground. She stared at the paintbrush in her hand. The plant went on. What the heck of that? asked the woman. At last, the plane stopped at the middle of the town. It had question to steal. People ran to see what all the noise was about. Harry and Harold stopped the car. They both jumped out. This doesn't look good, said Harold. No team and Anina ran to see where the plane had stopped. No team spoke to Harry and Harry. You see, he said, the propeller works. Now you see to make flaps and a rudder. Suddenly there was a noise. It sounded like an engine. It came from up in the sky. Everyone looked up. Our aeroplane was flying over the town. It's a flying machine, someone shot. Another hairy plane dropped Anina. The people waved and cheered. The pilot of the plane waved back at him. I don't know who that is, said the man. It will be a He and his brother are the first man to fly. Where I be turned, said Harry. So we all ended the first man to after all, said Harry. What were like bother had bitten off to it. Never mind, said Harold. I have some idea of a fort that goes under the water. The magic key began to glow. It was time to for Nodim and Anina to go. Sorry we were such a long time, said Biff. There was a lot of washing up to do. Then her mind left Anina. The time just flew by, and it wasn't just the time that flew, Jock told him. The end. Storybook.